And what's up, YouTube? Here we go again. I'm about to go DoorDash. And I just want to let y'all know before I get going is that I got a story to tell. A quick little story to tell that could be longer than what I'm about to tell y'all. But I'm going to put it in different frames. Here we go. So I went to test drive my bike a couple of days ago, not knowing I was going to be in handcuffs. All right. Let's go from there. So as I'm test driving my motorized bicycle, it was hesitating at the time because it, we had tough rain and I guess the rain got down in the cylinder through the spark plug and it wasn't really running right. So I ended up trying cleaning it out the best way I could and getting it to run and idle. It was running, it was idling, but it just would not accelerate. So um, I put the chain on because the chain came off the the previous couple of days after the um, tension that came loose and we had got some rain and let it sit overnight and then all of that stuff happened overnight, et cetera, et cetera. So um, took it up the road a little bit, get all the, the crud and stuff out the chain and get the moisture out the cylinder head if there was any in there. And next thing you know, uh, I'm just pedaling with the motor to get it to maintain its idle and speed. And I'm going downhill, the normal hill I go down for the past few months, you know, since I've been riding this thing, you know what I mean? So the speed limit is 35 on this particular road I'm talking about. And I noticed it's an um, officer in front of me. And he's going down here. I see his brake lights come on. But, you know, he's going like, um, I guess, between 30 and 28 miles per hour, slowing down dramatically. And I'm like, well, he's going to end up stopping in the, in the middle of the road, which he did. So he stops in the middle of the road and I go to his right side and I'm like, like maintaining my speed, which is around 29 and, and 31 miles per hour. And I go right past him and make a right turn into the bike lane. And as I make that right turn into the bike lane, I'm just riding normally and I make another right turn into a gas station that sprint at the time and I always go that way just to go through my test route to go head back home and then make sure everything is tightened up and then pretty much I will go make money DoorDash. And that's pretty much it. But at the time this officer decided to follow me. And at that time I didn't know he was behind me. So he turned his lights on and gave me the chirp. And I looked behind me and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm just test driving my ride, man, you know? And I gave him a signal as, like, I'm going to head up to the, the barbershop because this is where a lot of people and a, a lot of pedestrians are up there at the time, around those times at the time he was trying to pull me over. So I wanted to go that way so they could see me talk to this guy because I don't know why he's pulling me over. I ride my bike every day with no problem, so why is the problem today? And then I, I, I'm, I door dash delivery to off duty officers respectfully to give them their items that they're ordered from whichever merchant they order from. So um, it's a normal day. It's a good day. I'm just ready to be making money around the time I get back home and tighten everything up. But he decided to pull me over and I, I'm like trying to like direct him. I'm going to go pull over near the sidewalk where it's a lot of people at near the barbershop. So, you know, I can have witnesses if anything go wrong. So by the time I get up near this this barbershop where the, the sidewalk is at, from his point of view, he still sees me moving and I'm pedaling. But my my mind and my point of view, I'm going to stop right there. But he decided to come up next to me with his taser gun out the window while he's driving next to me. And I'm going like probably 10 or, or 12 miles per hour at the time, just pedaling uphill, trying to still help my motor out, just minding my business. I'm doing nothing wrong, but in his mind, I'm doing something wrong, maybe trying to run or something. So he he scared the mess out of me, man, trying to shoot me with his taser gun. And he's letting me know straight up he's going to shoot me with his taser gun. And it scared me because at that time, I had just got done reading that someone lost their life through a taser gun. And I didn't want that to be me. So... To make a long story short, man, I'm like, man, you don't got to do all of that, man. I was going to stop right here. But in his mind, he's like, why are you running? I wasn't going to run. I was directing you right here. I was going to talk to you respectfully. I just didn't want to be just parked anywhere where nobody could see us talking. You know, but he just had to roll his window down while he's driving with his taser out the window saying he's going to tase me with it. And I didn't 
feel like that was pretty much normal, man. I think he was trying to pretty much get me to fall off of my bike while he's going to taste me. And I, and I got scared. I wasn't going to go through that. So I end up going through a park and I got off it and I, and I was going to walk home and tell everybody that this police officer was following me and he was trying to tase me. And I was going to talk to him respectfully where there was a bunch of people that to see us talking because I don't know why he's pulling me over. I'm just test driving my bike. Honestly, respectfully, I, I do this every day before I go make money door dash on my bicycle. Now, when it's individuals out here trying to do the right thing, they turn us into criminals and He's calling me a criminal because I failed to stop for the blue lights. I never ran from an officer a day in my life. No police officer a day in my life. Honestly, this is a mistake, a dumb mistake. And I man up to it. But my heart was beating out of my skin. I can almost feel it just going through my back. I couldn't. I was thinking about, man, oh my goodness, man, if he tased me, man, I might die. That's all I know. But they don't care about that. They really don't. So I end up getting locked up for more than 24 hours. And it was crazy, man. I just, I was, they took all my clothes off. They they told me to shut up in there. They told me everything that I'm not going to get a phone call after they told me the previous night I got in there holding that I can get a phone call around 7 a.m. in the morning. So uh, I'm like, bro, didn't you tell me I could get a phone call? I have to call my people to make sure I got everything set for bail and payments and stuff. He like, no. Nobody's making no phone call until tomorrow. But really, the sun had just came up, so the next day is here. I waited. You told me just literally before y'all closed the cell door that I can have a phone call. So I'm going by what you tell me. So they, they treat us like dogs and animals in there and don't give a damn about if we have our rights or not. I'm like, I still have some rights in here. I'm still innocent until proven guilty, right? I'm telling the truth about everything, man. They, they don't care. They don't care. So I end up getting out because the judge pretty much was like, this is a dumb case. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you not spend a penny, but you have to show up for court. So to make a long story short, you guys, man, I'm going through a lot of things, but I'm standing strong. I'm going to ride my motorized bicycle today and we're going to door dash. Me and my baby Lucille, we're going to door dash. You know what I mean? This is the United States of America. Long as we ain't doing nothing to to get ourselves in trouble and we stay on the positive path it should be nothing to cause attention from any law but they look at us they look at us like wow he he he's doing so great we, we're going to pull him over and get his name and put him in the system that's how i feel you know so now i'm trying to take care of my son do the right thing and now they want they they try and get in my pockets and mess that up so I'm, I'm mad, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm going to try to keep a focused, steady mind and keep doing what I was doing before any of this happened. I'm going to I'm gonna push forward, and I know what's coming for me in a couple months where I got to go to trial and see the judge. But, you know, I'm trying to get some money up to make sure that I, I at least have something to show them when they need me to pay something. And I'm always trying to do the right thing. I don't want to never do the wrong thing out here to jeopardize me. And, and and where I can't take care of my son and he's so many miles away, but he need he he always going to need something. He got his daddy to, to be there for him. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm mad, but at the same time, I'm going to calm down by enjoying the nice views as I make these DoorDash deliveries. And stay tuned for more videos coming, y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sorry to be sounding like this, but, you know, when, when we all get upset and going through something, man, we never sound the same, but I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, more videos are on the way. I was able to um, go ahead and put the muffler on today because I don't want to cause any more attention from these guys saying they had to, they got to stop and listen to see if it got a motor on them and they pull you right over. I'm like, wow, man, I'm just, I'm just minding my business, staying out of trouble, man, trying to make trying to make money man you know what i mean and you talking about i'm gonna get this taken away y'all gonna tow it where i have to spend money to get it back they don't care man and it shouldn't be like that man and the officer did trip me up and then go online and say he didn't trip me while they had the, the body cameras recorded i understand everything so i'm not gonna argue that man it, it's just petty out here when it comes to the law officers with these badge drones, man, they, they do anything to you to get you all hyped and upset where they can try to pin other charges on you. And I don't think that's fair. 
You know what I mean? They just label, they just look at you right in your eyes and be like, we're just doing our job. I understand y'all doing your job, but y'all can't be doing everybody like that. You feel me? But it's their words against mine, right? I'm going to show up to court, though, and I'm going I'm to explain to the judge what happened, man. You know what I mean? I man up to my mistakes, and I'm sorry for what happened, man. But when you scared, you scared for real, right? They just got to care about if you were scared. You know what I mean? I was. I ain't want them to tase me, dude. People die from that. People die for being tased. I don't know what my condition is when it comes to my heart, but I don't know if it can handle a, a voltage of being tased for more than five seconds. I don't know. And then when they put me in the in the um the back of the the, the patrol car, they they was telling me not to tense up when I wasn't even tensing up. They they were trying to make it look like I was going to run again when I wasn't even going to run. You know. I was still scared out of my mind, man. I'm glad my father pulled up. They disrespected my bike so bad. The front tire got all bent up. I can show y'all what the tire looked like, you know what I mean? But this is the new one right here. All the money that I've been hustling and making on this bicycle through DoorDash got me this new rim. It was $60. It ain't that high. But it costs money, you know what I mean? Anything that costs money is expensive. I don't care. I don't care, man, but you know what I mean? And this the old rim right here. Messed up. This is when they got, got my bike out the woods, and they, they just did whatever they did. Got the rim bent up. Don't care, and then told me I'm not going to get it back. They said every day I'm locked up, they're going to cost, it's going, they're, going, they're going to charge me $150 in pound. I'm like, for what, man? Call my peoples. They come pick it up, and they looked at me and said, nope. Because you BS me. You BS me. You lying to me. I had to go hunt for this, and you ain't getting it back. They say you ain't calling nobody to come pick it up. Which company you want me to call to come tow it? I'm like, you can't do that. He slammed the door in my face, and I'm like, I'm like yelling out the window while it's cracked. It's opening a little bit. I'm like, you can't do that. I gave you a phone number to my father. Call him. He'll come pick it up. He looked at me and said, what if your father don't pick it up? We're going to tow it, and you ain't getting it back. I'm like, I still have my rights. You can call him. And then that's when they called him. And my father did pull up. And then he put it in the back of his car, and he took it home for me. It's my property. I worked hard for it, respectfully, legally. I didn't steal it or nothing. It's in my name with my money. They say what we can't do, and it's right here. So you can do this. As long as you follow the rules, I'm following the rules. I never broke a law with no officer a day in my life until he threatened to shoot me with a taser gun. My life flashed before my eyes. Oh, he ain't going to believe that because he the one holding it in his hand. But if I had it in my hand, he's going to be the one to shoot me. Because he was scared for his life, right? Come on, y'all. Let me know if I make any sense, man. Or or just say something in the comments, man. But I'm about to hop on my baby right now, yo. This is this is part of my life to get in money. This is my source of income right here. I've been doing it for months now. And I've been doing it for years in a regular car with four tires. No problems. Without a regular paying job. But I had a regular paying job while I had this motorized bike right here to get extra money on the side whenever it was needed to help feed my son. I'm doing the right thing. My son ain't starving. I call him. He said he good. He don't need nothing right now. But I still got money on standby for him because of this right here. And they try to take it from me. What's up? Why? So it don't matter if you try to do the right thing. They still going to try to take something from you and, 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 do, and do something wrong with your name, man. Put you in the system and label you as a criminal. And that's exactly what they did to me. When I was just minding my business being a good civilian. And I ended up in handcuffs anyway because I was scared for my life. 
while officer ride next to me threatened to shoot me with his taser gun when I was going to stop in front of other other people that was going to see me talking to him because I don't know why he's pulling me over. I'm just test driving my bike. From the whole beginning of the situation, I was just test driving my bike. I'm a regular person that anybody see me from a car or on foot bystanders. I'm just test driving my bike. I had oil all over my hand. I wasn't out here committing crimes. I wasn't bothering nobody. I didn't rob nobody. I didn't, I didn't do nothing. I don't do that. And then when I get to the jail, it's no room. The employees of the jail place say that North Augusta police keep writing unnecessary paperwork, bringing people in here, taking up room. They had three to four people per cell because they all from North Augusta, South Carolina. The judge was shaking her head. The bell judge, the bond judge. She was like, so was you on a motorcycle or a bicycle? I said it was a bicycle, you honor. It got pedals on it with a little 50cc motor on it. It don't get no faster than 25, 27 miles per hour. You can hit 30, 32 going downhill. I asked four North Augusta officers. They said, it's fine, man. You, you, you shouldn't have no trouble with that. It's nice, man. You talented. I might need you to build me one. I said, I will. I do a good job for you, sir. I appreciate y'all liking my, my handcraft material that I have, have here. Then I went to Richmond County Police. They had no problems. They gave me thumbs up, man. You, you, you was amazing. You amazing individual. You smart. That is wild. But these are everywhere now because, because they efficient on gas and, and it's transportation. And I tried getting insurance. I actually had insurance on it, but they canceled my insurance that I had on it because they can't figure out a way to get tags on it, real tags and registration. So I tried everything legal to get this thing registered and paperwork on it. I was trying. I still have the paper in the house that shows that I was trying. I'm going to take that to court. Yo, y'all help me if you want to, man. My cash app is Mont443. Don't forget the dollar sign, 1990. Put dollar sign M-O-N-T-443-1990. Just support me on this, man. They was already talking about my bail was going to be $3,000, but you know what I mean? I didn't have $3,000 at the time, and I didn't want to deal with no bails bond. But she 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 ended up letting me walk out of there with a PR. But I know I know it's still fines on a way that I can't I don't even know if I can handle it yet because I don't know if what it says yet, but I know it's a headache going away. I'm doing nothing wrong. <clears throat> I'm doing nothing wrong out here to cause any trouble but do the right thing. And I ride the bike lane and I stop at all red lights. I was just test driving. Next thing you know, the officer want to pull me over for I don't know what reason. I won't do it again. But maybe, maybe they don't have to have they they discharge weapon out the window saying what they're gonna do to me, scaring the shit out of me. I felt my my soul leave my body. I thought I was going to end up on the a, on a news that an individual got tased while riding a bicycle and died. Real talk. But that ain't going to stop me. I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to stand strong and keep a focused mind and continue to do what I was doing respectfully and positively. But far from this side, I'm going to the other side. It don't even matter anymore because I already been through what I just been through in the last couple of days. It is it is a hard a hard headache right now, stressful. But I know what I got to do right now is keep getting that money. Cause if I don't get paid, I don't get nothing done. Nothing.
And then the officer said I didn't have no lights on there. What do y'all see? No lights, he said. What is that? That's an LED light right there. Oh, yeah, what is that? I put lights on here. I got lights. I have I have emergency lights. You see? I have a speedometer. I know how fast I was going. I was going 32 miles per hour. Look at that. Rear light. He said I have no lights. And he said I have no. He, he going to look right at me and say I have no license. And I hand him my license. I gave it right to him. It's messed up out here, man. But y'all be safe out here. Stay tuned for the next video. I have more coming. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe, y'all. I appreciate everybody watching my videos. I'm sorry to sound upset in this one. But keep doing what y'all do out there, man. Keep being creative. Keep doing what you're doing to, to, to be safe out here, man. Don't let nobody scare you off of what you're doing that's positive. You feel me? Much love for everybody, man. See you in the next video.